Morning, it's Good Bad Dan here from ECF. This is the uh, Pyrex and stainless steel wick combination. You can see the uh, Pyrex kind of runs from the top right here all the way down to about right there. And you get your stainless steel wick that runs up through the center of the Pyrex tube. This is a 3 millimeter Pyrex tube. The uh, stainless steel wick is 635 stainless steel wrapped at about 1.8. Uh, millimeters. Uh, I'm running a 4 ohm coil, 15 watts of power is what I'm pushing at it. Um, even with like 5 seconds, 10 seconds on, uh, the coil never glows red hot. Uh, it just heats up really nice. And here's an example. Hit some power and let it go. And you'll notice it takes a couple seconds, well, about a second or so, for it to really heat up and get going. But when it does, it it goes pretty darn good. But you can see the stainless steel wick is actually pretty easy to uh, replace. Just pull it out. And you see a little bit of discoloration from the tank full of juice that I've run through this thing so far, but not too bad. This way you can kind of change out your wicks and try different uh, thicknesses like say 325, 500, 400, 635, you know, whatever you want to try. But uh, it seems to be working pretty good. Uh, the airflow I don't throw directly at the coil. I'm throwing it 90 degrees from the wick so airflow comes in here and is actually running up the center post and kind of captures the vapor and pulls it off. Um, I don't really want air directly on the coil because I don't want the coil to cool down because that kind of decreases my vapor. But this is a uh, idea that's in progress and uh, just kind of sharing it with you guys, see what you guys can come up with, what you think. Uh, my next iteration of Pyrex I'll probably cut about right here. That way I've got Pyrex from here to about right there and then let the wick kind of just hang down in the juice and see if that kind of improves uh, the wicking capability any. But, um, I mean, it throws out some serious uh, vapor when it gets going. Anyway, you guys get the idea. And even when you let off on the power button, it takes it about a second or two to finally cool down. <laughs> so when you let off on the power button, keep drawing, you know, your vapor or plan when you're uh, inhaling, you know. So anyway, scuba bat Dan, I'm out.